So, I spent over 50 hours grinding event ruptures in Tales of Tenorio. And this grind is not like any other grind. This is a story. A story which evolved and changed with every coming day. But, as many stories do, this story started in hope and ended in tragedy. And now, hopefully without too much yapping and being corny, let's start this off. Overall, my rupture team didn't really change too much and was pretty simple. My main kept with its Alpha Dynastogan the whole time, and my eventual assistant, which we'll learn about in a bit, had a Peregrivus as well as a Dynastogan. We both also got explosive cash rooms later on. On the 15th of March 2024, this hunt began. As ruptures were fixed and the shiny weekend began, me and three other friends began this ordeal. Morale was high, as if one person got the shiny at this time, everyone got the shiny due to a bug. And this bug allowed us, if we did get the shiny, to all relish and be happy as we had grinded for it together. A very efficient at the time strategy was also conceived, which involved us all having alt accounts and then being sat in private servers. They would generate ruptures, and when an event rupture spawned, we would join that server and do it. And in actual practice, this strategy was incredible for its time. Some occasions we were getting constant floods of event ruptures at once, so we had plenty to do. And this obviously kept morale up high as we weren't bored and we were actively doing them consistently. And with the bug also driving us forward, we would continue to do runs throughout the weekend, alternating squad members when some of them were busy, and everything was well, up until Sunday. Sunday marked a turning point for this war, but unfortunately, a turning point for the worst. On one fateful rupture, Cleon ended up getting a shiny Drippo after a hundred-ish attempts. However, the other members, Gren, Rain, Wolfie, did not get a shiny. They instead were met with Tanopedia entries with the shiny being documented, or nothing at all. And then we realised, the bug that we had depended on for our morale had been patched, and this shattered us. We carried on grinding, but our morale was never the same. Quite a few of us were over a hundred ruptures done. At this point, we just wanted to get this over and done with. This mission was long overdue, with many of us never seeing it completed. With more of my squad mates stopping their grind for obvious reasons, it was harder to find event ruptures. This strategy needed cohesion and coordination among its members, which would be at its absolute peak in a call with friends. And with limited options, I turned to the rat race, a constant supply of ruptures at the price of competition. In summary, in the Rupture Party channel of the Tales of Tenorio Discord, the second someone posted a link to a private server saying they had an event rupture, you would join it and rush over to the location. You had to be quick and on the ball or you would be beaten to it, making it a tough venture. Not to mention on this Sunday, it was further exacerbated by Event Notant being added to the Rupture Pool, meaning there were going to be a lot more people doing these event ruptures, joining private servers, and making things 10 times worse. And did I tell you, during that day, I happened to be on mobile, which made it even worse, as joining private servers on mobile is a crazy time, it is not fun, not fast, and 9 times out of 10, you would not make it into an event rupture. It was absolute chaos, and thankfully it happened on a very limited basis. However, another thing I decided to do was start training up my alt. 
This surprisingly only took around 3 hours overall to be rupture ready and would be an extremely useful tool for a rupture strategy later. As of that current moment, my alt was used to sit in private servers as per usual, however it could actually partake in the 7 star ruptures and it was used to alongside my main, with great effect. And throughout the early part of the week, my grind alternated between rat racing which was luckily a lot less competitive and the normal strategy with the remaining squad members. Luckily, they had also incorporated alt accounts and grinded them, which made up for our lost manpower. But everything changed on Wednesday the 20th of March. I did my usual joining a private server, get into the rupture, etc. But they asked me to stick around after. And what I saw after revolutionized these runs. They were cycling using explosion, resetting ruptures on one specific point in Whispering Woods, and this efficiency was what I needed. Since Topia added an event rupture pity, when you calibrated, per se, ruptures onto one specific place, you could have a bunch of people there clearing it with explosion constantly and getting a massive amount of event ruptures quickly and I soon realized and incorporated it as my main strategy. The first use of this cycling strategy for me was the Thursday right after, and it was used to a moderate effect with only one explosion to Noreen at the time, which unfortunately did limit its efficiency. But it did lay the groundwork and the expertise for a much more efficient and faster grinding experience in the future. And as Thursday came to a close, I was sitting on around 200 ruptures done. But my friend Gren was on almost 600 done. He had been using around 6 accounts at his peak, which is genuinely crazy, with neither of us getting any rupture shinies. Yet. As Friday rolled around, fortunes began to change. Gren finally got a well-deserved shiny event notant, and so he stopped doing ruptures for obvious reasons. I, however, began my final push. I asked my subscribers and the people of the Rupture Party's channel in the TRT Discord for assistance, and they came to my aid. We cleared and battled rupture after rupture, getting a ridiculous amount of event ruptures, and with later my alt getting explosion, it was accelerated further. The amount of ruptures we were doing was crazy. It was almost a 9 hour straight grind on just Friday. Hope had returned to my mind. Would this really be it? Would it be over? My emotional state over the week was pretty okay, mainly because things kept changing and I still was having quite a lot of social interaction with people which pushed me to keep going, and I had this feeling that I would eventually get it. However, on Friday and then Saturday, a series of unfortunate events would fake me out and make me quite angry towards the Dine and Shine badge. I had multiple instances of getting random overworld shinies. One I got randomly, it really shocked me. I didn't really know how to feel confused, angry, happy. I didn't even get the shiny from that because I barely knew what was going on since I was in the middle of a rupture. The next one I got was a shiny I actually wanted. It was a shiny Strioga. And yeah, I mean, I was starting to get more used to it, but I wasn't still that happy. And then it kept continuing. 
on multiple accounts on the next day just more random overworld shinies kept popping up some of them were cool others i didn't really care and i just became sick of the dine and shine badge especially considering the fact finding a wild shiny is one in 2k which is 10 times rarer than getting a shiny from a rupture this didn't help by the fact that this happened eight times overall which just showed how unlucky i was in a sense but on the contrary, it proved I could also be lucky. If I kept getting this, I believed that I could get the shiny from a rupture, as it was 10 times rarer, after all. So I kept going. Clear after clear, catch after catch, me, my ult, and amazing cyclers, grinding as a team, grinding together, and we kept pushing. But even after that, no shiny Drippo, no shiny Notant, and around 100 ruptures done in total across my accounts in that one very night. But I continue to press on. A bunch of ruptures done in the morning, one shiny cheer deer, back to grinding in the evening, two shinies, more constant rupture clearing on my accounts, and nothing. No shiny Drippo. No shiny notant, once again, probably even more ruptures. By this point, I was on around 400-ish ruptures done, and unfortunately, my final push had failed. On Sunday, I could only get so much done due to real life stuff, and what I could do was not enough. The very Tenorians I had aimed to hunt for, I was over two times over odds for them and there was nothing I could do. I would go back home on the end of that Sunday, do whatever I could, and then go to sleep, shutting my eyes, knowing that this was over, and there was nothing I could do about it. When I woke up on Monday, it was over. The ruptures were gone, and there was nothing I could do. After 50 hours and over 400 event ruptures, I had gotten absolutely zero shiny event drippos or notants. And that was the end of it. And as for everything I had gotten, I had gotten 73 notants on my alt account, 102 notants on my main account, which totals to 175 event notants. As for Drippos, I got 82 on my alt and 187 on my main, which totals to 269 Drippos. And for Shinies, I got 3 random Shinies on my alt, them being a Shiny Termitate, USB, and Fluidant. On my main account, I failed 1 Shiny, I killed 1 Shiny Cheer Deer, as well as catching 1 Shiny Striogre, one shiny Spooder and one shiny Cheer Deer, making a grand total of eight shinies. And the grand total for Rupture Tenorians Court, 175 plus 269, is 444, which is crazy. And as for a final judgment, was this worth it? No, absolutely not. But one thing that I will never forget is this journey. I want to thank everyone who joined me in partaking in these ruptures. Whether you were one of my close squad mates from the beginning. Someone who joined my ruptures later. Someone who had their private server open and I happened to join partaking in the rupture or not or anyone who's just supported me along the way and watched this video. I can't thank you enough for this incredible one week over 50 hour journey of doing this and I really hope you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, this has taken me an insane amount of time to produce and around when this video does go live, I will be launching channel memberships. So if you do want to support me in an incredible way, please consider getting a membership. But liking, subscribing, spreading the video around is also an incredible thing that you can do. And with all of that being said, 
I will see you in another video slash stream. Goodbye!